From the creation of the very first computer, Z1, to the Windows operating system Vista, there has been a continuous need for greater amounts of digital storage from such driving forces as video, audio and games. This video will address, in brief, the advancement from tapes to floppy disks. Computer tapes were first developed in 1951 and were used on the Univac 1. The tape was made of nickel-plated bronze, was half an inch wide and 1400 feet long. Tapes had two main functions, backing up computer systems to prevent the loss of data and the transfer of information from computer to computer. Data on the tape is pushed through by vacuum pumps, which is interpreted by a reed needle. Though these were relatively cheap, with a capacity to hold 1.4 million letters or numbers, its sequential storage requires more time to find single pieces of information. They also had the risk of being damaged easily, and with such large capacity, large amounts of information could be lost at once. It was time for a change, and when in 1971 IBM released the first floppy or memory disk, it came. They were 8 inches of plastic coated in magnetic iron oxide in which data could be stored and accessed easily by floppy drives. It was a revolutionary idea, allowing data to be moved with far greater ease in amounts of up to 100 kilobytes. The concept of how the floppy disk worked was much the same as the vinyl records which were popular through the 1960s. When the floppy was placed in the drive, it would be grabbed in the center and spun like a record. The read and write head of the drive would come into contact with the disk through an opening in the plastic shell, allowing for data to be accessed. This came at a price of $1200. In today's modern terms, a 300GB hard drive would have cost $3.6 million and covered 72 square meters. Further advancements came five years later when a smaller version was released in 1976. It was 5 and a quarter inches and cost $390. The last development was in 1981 when Sony introduced the 3.5 inch disc that we commonly saw until a few years ago.